Higher mortgage rates, a spike in home prices, and tougher credit rules have all combined to stall the housing recovery, especially for younger would-be buyers. And now more of them are becoming renters, and they're doing so by choice. Diana Olick has the story. The dream of home ownership isn't exactly dead. It's just being postponed, especially for younger Americans who were hit hardest by the recession. Younger renters have told us and by a vast majority that they eventually want to own a home, but um, the road to get there, to get the mortgage financing, is going to be pretty difficult. Housing began to recover thanks to all-cash investors, but as they now slow down, younger mortgage-dependent buyers are not picking up the slack. Readings on housing activity, a sector that has been recovering since 2011, have remained disappointing so far this year and will bear watching. Employment for younger Americans is still weak, but it's not just jobs. A new survey by Fannie Mae found big changes in why younger renters choose to stay renting. In 2012, 35% said they were renting in order to make themselves financially ready to own. That dropped to just 26% in 2013. More renters now say they rent because it's a more affordable option. There are also social changes afoot. Unlike their parents who preferred gated communities, today's younger millennials are more social. They want to be here, downtown, close to work, close to amenities, and that usually means renting. The rental market is, is so hot today that the rental owners are really building sort of um, places that renters want to live in. Like you can get a pool, a movie theater, you know, concierge at your apartment complex. If you bought a house at 23, you wouldn't get, all, you wouldn't get any of that stuff. Jonathan Eppers is CEO of RadPad, a new app designed to make every facet of renting easier. Eppers is also a millennial renter. The last thing you want to do when you come out of college and have all this debt is fork out more debt to buy a house. The majority of renters surveyed by Fannie Mae said they did not have sufficient funds to cover even a 5% down payment plus closing costs on a typical starter home. So while the monthly payment for owning a home may be cheaper than rent in some places, Actually, buying that home is the barrier to entry. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.